She won't stay for more than two seconds. Here's Annabelle, and she is not eating. She thinks that if she comes to this kidding stall, magically, milk is gonna appear. Good morning, children. Good morning, Hello. You want some? barn is very very quiet. I've noticed that after I started milking some of the little kids were having a really hard time keeping up with mom and so I knew I had to readjust something that something wasn't working out and despite making sure that they're getting their milk in before they go to bed and everything else that I've been doing I think that some of these kids need more nourishment, they need to grow more, and that they need to be in a different spot in order to be away from mom for 12 hours. So the moms run, and this one takes them a minute to spread. Now look at Clarita. She needs a bottle. And this little guy needs a bottle. Oh, look. Oh, he's trying to be a buck with his sister. Oh, Lord. Now, there are kids like Gaia's that are bigger, and I don't worry too much about it. But I do feel a little bit weird about separating only those two kids and uh, keeping the rest with their moms. I just don't have the heart to do it, so I decided that this is what I'm gonna have to do because you only get one chance to um, help these babies grow from the beginning. I've said this before and I think like some people get it and some other people don't. If you don't start them right, it is way harder to help them catch up. And, and that's the way it is. Um, Typically what happens and why I'm so worried about the little ones not getting enough milk is once they start to stress, coccidia is a strong possibility. And the smaller that they are, the harder that it will be for their little immune system, their little bodies to fight coccidia. Now I watch many videos about coccidia and you know how it affects the babies and one of the biggest factors is when they are being weaned from mom and it's mostly because of stress. Coccidia is in them. It's just that if it, there's a bloom of coccidia, it really affects babies. And that's what happens to Toad, who I ended up keeping because I know he's gonna struggle for the rest of his life. So you have one chance to do this right. If there is one question about should I be doing this the answer for me and my herd is no I shouldn't and despite wanting to have milk this is a eight week process eight to twelve week process and I just don't want to cut corners when I know that the effects of health in a baby that nurses uh, are you know a lifetime of benefits where if i just separate them and i think they're gonna be fine i'm sure they will be but it can affect their growth it can turn into something expensive to treat it can turn into something that i would have to take them to the vet potentially and as you are trying to weigh the pros and the cons of having milk right now not even a month after freshening I've decided that that's, that's not the way to go. No.
I've been trying to train them to be here in the back because again I you know by training them I mean I only feed them here during the day and it's been working out great I mean it's raining today it will be raining for the next week so this area really came handy um now pallets and all that stuff over there I just don't care for um, I hope that we can get that done sometime soon you know have a little door or something set up in that area or even figure something out for the hay but right now this is the best we can do with what we have so training them to be here eating and also as you saw me I'm getting whatever is at the bottom of the hay bag and throwing it on the ground because those are the like the stemmy parts and that way if they want to lay down here which some of them do I know that Gaia and Brie love to lay down here uh, then at least they have something to lay on so I'm letting it pile it's not that I'm sweeping here and keeping it clear this is a uh, you know just it doesn't have any floor so it's going to be warmer if I let it just stay there so good morning who is starving come on Then I have my usual suspect, Clara's boys. <laughs> That's the one I call Captain America. That's the, oh, of course, and repeated offender who always needs to be trying to mount somebody. Yep, 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 yep. Good morning, children. Good morning, Cielo. Do you want some milk? I'm gonna bring a bottle, and whoever wants milk. We'll get it. Now I know you know how to drink milk. Come on, America. And Dom. Um, come here, little girl. Dom Jr. Excuse you, sir. Sir. He's always trying to chew on my socks or something. Mocha, be nice to your children, please. It's like, Mom. Mommy. Mom. Go, go, go. Follow her. Run for your life. This little girl, I don't know if you'll, oh yeah, you'll see her. She thinks that if she comes to this kidding stall, magically, milk is going to appear. Like Annabelle is going to know that she's here and she's going to come and give her milk. And I'm like, you know, that's not how it works. She has those dark stripes in her face and you cannot see, but she has the most beautiful eyes. Yes, you do. You're a pretty girl. You are a pretty girl. But your mom is not coming back here. She's actually feeling a little better, which is a good thing, huh? She's eating grain again. I don't know if I have a lot of footage of it, but Annabelle was not doing great for a couple of days too. So that was another factor that kind of uh, kept me thinking that it wasn't time yet. Here's Annabelle. And she is not eating. And so I'm going to, I still milked her. She's yeah, I know. I still milked her and I got this much, but I'm not gonna drink it. I'm gonna use it for soap, so I didn't put it with the rest of the milk. But I'm gonna give her some probios and hopefully she'll feel better. She didn't touch the grain. She let me milk her and everything. She's shaking, so. She either stressed because of something um, you know, maybe it's being separated from her kids, maybe not, so I'll keep an eye on her. And I'm gonna give her some probios to help her. I know, I know, you are so strong. But, but you can do this. I left her here where I went to get something, like a different container, hoping that she would eat the grain, but she's not eating it, so. That's not a great sign. I'm gonna take her outside and hopefully put the kids and see how she reacts. So I got so I got this much milk um, and this is just milk. I had more foam but this is just the milk and I got this extra 
from Annabelle that is not doing great. So I'm gonna use it for soap and not drinking, but this is... Now the day before then, my husband was here and I wasn't, and he said that she didn't wanna eat grain either. But that she wasn't laying down, she wasn't separating, she wasn't doing anything like that. It was only that she was not eating grain. And the day before then, she was browsing. She was outside with Clara and they were eating and stuff. So I thought to myself, well, maybe it's just all the fresh stuff that she's been eating that is messing with her stomach. So I better just pay attention. And you know, she seemed to be doing better. She ate grain the night before, but then yesterday when I took her to milk, um, this is what happened. For most people, it could be the right time at two weeks. But I think that my whole purpose with this video is not only share what is happening, but it's also letting you know that you have to know the timing, you have to know your babies, you have to know your mamas, and see what is actually going on. Now, I feel like all these babies were released at the same time because we didn't finish the other kidding stalls we're gonna do in that barn extension. So I had to let them go out way before time. And before time, it could be a day, it could be two days. Usually when the babies are strong and running and hopping around, I let them out. And I know that the bond with mom is strong. But because they were kind of pushed out of the kidding stall and not spent so much, mom, much time with mom, what happened this year for me is that the kids will follow anybody who has an adder. Oh, look at Lady, she's like, Finally, my mom remembered I am, see? She must stay for more than two seconds. But that boy is not hers, so it could be because of that. Let's see. They usually try to find a spot away from the other kids, but look, that is what's happening. And I think that's why they're having a hard time. It's just that the kids are very insisting and not only follow them, but insist. It's not like other years that they would see another and they would follow, but then, oh, you're not my mom. You know what I'm saying? And move, move away. These kids are being, you know, the moms are, are, are not feeding other kids, unless it's Clara who feeds the world. But it's just, it's just frustrating to see that I couldn't do things on time. Uh, and, and kind of make this work. So right now I feel like by next kidding season, unless I have a kidding stall for each one of the girls, then I'm not breeding that many does because in my personal experience, it would have been a lot easier if I kept mom with babies for, especially ones with smaller babies, if I was able to leave them in for three to four days in a kidding stall in a controlled environment, clean daily, with enough food for mom, with, you know, that bonding situation. So by the time that they get out, they're not confused and following every single dough. Sometimes they follow these moms around and they, they're they tired by the time that they're following everyone, but their mom, they're tired. And they just go lay down and not drink milk until finally mom comes around calling for them and then they go and follow so they are you know these are the kind of things that i had no idea that could happen and that basically the idea of having more kidding stalls was more about the peace of mind of, for me to keep them in the stall and away from the cold for a few days but at this point it you know i kind of learned my lesson that for me it's important to have a kidding stall for each one of them and evaluate accordingly. Depending on the mom, depending on the size of the kids, is how long they're gonna stay in the kidding stall. So, you live and you learn.